the fiber fallacy, more than just roughage are the hidden intelligence of plant carbs. If I ask you what a plant is made of, you'll probably say fiber and maybe sugar. That's the entire nutritional story we've been given. Starches break down into glucose, and fiber is just roughage that keeps you regular. But that story? It's dangerously oversimplified. The truth is, fiber isn't a single thing, it's a vast, diverse, molecular code. Plant carbohydrates are built with an almost unbelievable level of complexity, a hidden intelligence that goes way beyond simple carbs and insoluble bulk. Today, we are diving into the secret language of plant architecture. You are about to see your broccoli, beans, and grains not as passive food, but as intricate, molecular machines. 1. The Hidden Language of Sugars We spend all our time talking about glucose, but plants use an entire dictionary of lesser-known sugar-building blocks. Think of them as specialty Lego bricks. Glucose is your standard, easy-to-use 2 times 4 block. It's simple, and it stacks in a straight, predictable line to make starch. That's a quick energy shot for us. But then you have xylose, arabinose, and galacturonic acid. These are the oddly shaped connector pieces, the ones that link at strange angels, form side chains, and create intricate scaffolding. When a plant builds with these molecules, the result is dense, complicated, and entirely nonlinear. It's this complex bonding, this microscopic architecture, that makes plants tough, durable, and frankly, fascinating. The unsung heroes of plant life. This molecular complexity gives rise to the non-starch polysaccharides, the real heroes of this story. Pectins, found heavily in fruits, they're the gelatinous glue that holds everything together and keeps water in. Hemicelluloses, these form the tough, reinforcing mesh that wraps around the cellulose in the cell wall, the molecular steel bars of the plant structure. Beta-glucans, famous in oats and barley, these are molecular sponges that absorb water and form a viscous gel. These aren't just one-dimensional fiber. They are structural masterpieces that define texture, retain moisture, and protect the plant. They are the intelligence that survived your cooking process and arrived intact at the most important place in your body. 3. The Gut Microbiome's Feast Here's why this complexity matters to us. Since our human enzymes are built to only handle simple, linear starch, they can't break down these intricate plant structures. They travel all the way to your large intestine, where your gut microbiome is waiting. Your gut bacteria are armed with thousands of specialized enzymes, each one a molecular key designed to unlock a specific polysaccharide. The more complex, the more diverse the plant carbohydrate, the wider the variety of bacteria it feeds. When these microbes feast, they don't just survive. They produce the ultimate health currency, short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs. Butyrate, acetate, propionate. These SCFAs fuel the cells of your gut lining, reduce inflammation, and are the core of the gut-brain axis. 4. Fermented Foods, Polysaccharides in Action Now, let's bring this to your kitchen table, fermented foods. They are a brilliant, real-world demonstration of complex plant carbs being unlocked. Take kimchi or sauerkraut. When the lactic acid bacteria ferment the cabbage, 
they don't just consume the simple sugars. They start to dismantle the cabbage as tough, fibrous cell walls, the very structural polysaccharides we've been talking about. This process essentially predigests the complex plant matrix. It makes those nutrients more bioavailable and, most importantly, it creates an environment where the beneficial bacteria can thrive and ramp up the production of those precious SCFAs. Fermentation is ancient wisdom that acknowledges the power of the plant's complex architecture. 5. Future Foods and Health Innovations The key takeaway is this, when it comes to plant carbs, structure equals function. And the more we understand that structure, the more we can revolutionize our diet. Researchers are already working on using specific polysaccharides as novel food ingredients, precision nutrition designed to boost just one strain of beneficial bacteria. This complexity holds the key to the future of tailored nutrition, where your diet isn't based on a vague idea of more fiber, but on the specific needs of your unique microbial profile. So, the next time you look at a plant, don't just see roughage. See an incredibly intricate, intelligent molecular structure, a hidden language that your microbiome is desperately waiting to read. The brilliance of plants is literally fueling your health. If you found this deep dive into plant science fascinating, hit the like button. And tell me in the comments, what complex plant food, like lentils, artichokes, or parsnips, are you going to add to your diet this week? Subscribe for more science-backed food truths. Mm -hmm.